Morning, everybody. It was a bit of a crazy night. This park still has no power. I did go around the park yesterday and there's branches falling everywhere. A couple campsites got destroyed pretty bad from the winds and the gazebos went flying. But I currently still have no power and I need to work. I have an hour till I need to start work, which gives me enough time just to get to Cochrane. So I'm gonna see how bad the road is out of this park to the main highway. If everything is good, I'm gonna hook a left and head towards Cochrane. If uh, seems I can't make it in an hour or so, I'm going to hook a right and go into town over here so I can at least start my generator. I just don't want to start it in this park with all these seniors here because the exhaust is loud on it. Look, they shut down this whole road now. Holy crap. Holy. Must have been some big trees falling on that side. You could even see it over here. And another fallen tree. Some big ones fell, like the showers are completely closed. Um, they're completely closed. The bathrooms are all locked up. Uh, I don't know, but we survived. I mean, it could have been worse. I could have had stuff land right on me. I do have big like branches and stuff on my truck, but other than the water that got in everywhere, uh, no physical damage, so. Let's just uh, keep heading. It's another 10 minutes till we're back on the highway and we'll make a decision from there. So, let's see you in a bit. Okay, it's decision time. Left or right? Uh, it says if I go left, it's 96 kilometers to Hearst. And it puts me there at 8.06 this morning which is acceptable. It's a bit later than I wanted to start, but 806 is acceptable. By the time I get a coffee, it'll be 810. That works. So what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna head left and go to Cochrane, I mean, not first, Cochrane. <laughs> We can make a coffee yeah buddy and get to work yeah. we ended up parking here for the day um which is the cochrane canadian tire um i needed to go to canadian tire anyways in order to uh get some stuff for the rv and some stuff to make some repairs in the rv plus i figured there's the canadian tire gas station it's not a petrol but I still get quite a bit of points there, so I figured it doesn't hurt to tank there, even though gas has now dropped four cents since this morning when I tanked here. Damn it, I should have just waited. Um, but then again, if I waited, it would have went up. Um, but yeah, so one more phone call that I'm waiting to start in two minutes. Once this call is done, it'll be 3.30 and should give me enough time to stop at Walmart and still make it to the park before it closes. Um, I could reserve it online, but I find when I could go to the park and look around and see what's available at the same time, you just get better selection of sites that way. So that's what we'll try to do. And if not, then we'll do what we did at the last one. Just order it once we're there. So for now, um, I'll see you in an hour when I start the car and we'll continue this trip down to the park. So see you soon. All right, work done. Try to hit the road, get there before the park closes. I don't know why there's so many helicopters taking off here, one after another. Thank you, Crappy Tire, for your hospitality. 
and for earning me $20 in Canadian Tire money, filling up my tank. And here we go. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in, somewhere I can find myself. I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive And I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky I found my way, I found my way I was in the dark, against it all, but made it through the day Cause I found my way, I found my way in bad times, I know I'll be okay Cause I found my way resting on it at the back corner there but the rest of it stood nicely now I think I'm gonna have to take this side I think I'm fairly level but uh, the reason I'm gonna take this side is because 20 feet from me look at this look at this I got my own kayak launch right on my own property here on my own site out to the lake Not quite level, but who cares? I'm not running on propane for my fridge and stuff, so I should be okay. Um, the problem I have right now is I was only able to book it till Friday morning, which means I only get a chance to fish on the kayak properly after work tomorrow. And that kind of put me in a panic today. What do I do now? Do I skip the shower, skip everything, and just get to fishing? Or I need to eat at minimum. But what I think I'm going to do is, I came to have a look here, like look at this. I think if it doesn't get too, too shallow here, I could fish off this rock this evening and maybe I'll feel a little better. I just don't know how deep this stays, it looks pretty shallow here. But what a, this is the best. Because no matter how bad the weather gets, it'll never be too, too bad in here. You got weed beds, you got islands, a lot of rock structure. Only problem is it's pretty shallow by shore, but I should be able to cast here anyways. Tomorrow I could, after work, set up the kayak, do all that. And then I guess I'm still gonna leave on Friday. What could I do? Damn. I would have stayed here a week if they let me. Just because of how this spot looks. Okay. Being that it's already 7.30 at night. And there's no way I'm getting out on that kayak tonight. What I'm going to do is cook. Eat something. Cast my rod till dark. And after dark. Oh yeah. After dark, I'll go take a shower and uh, do all the other chores I need to do. Right now, I just need to make sure I eat. But at least we could come out here and cast. This is the craziest spot yet. Why does it have to be booked Friday and Saturday? Why? throw up. I ate so fast. <coughs> I don't even think I chewed. But I'm at that age. If I don't eat, I don't feel good. So, can't skip 100 meals a day anymore. But right now, we still got a little bit, half hour of sunlight. So it was worth rushing. I uh, went to grab my rods. They're all tangled, all twisted. So I just grabbed a knife, cut every single line I had. First rod that came loose, which is the big one. I put a new leader on. I bought some really shitty cheap ones. 
um, and came out here. So we are here. We still got probably half hour, 45 minutes of sun. So now I could cast and uh, maybe catch something tonight. I get so excited when I see water. It's crazy. Oh, look at that big bass. Holy crap, first, second cast. I don't want you though. I don't want you. You're not allowed. You are not allowed. Oh, you guys can see what I'm doing is just giving a jerk stop, jerk stop. It works really well, usually. We saw the fish, we know they're here. We know there's fish here. Untangle, I don't have time to do all this stuff myself. Fish away. All right, 15 minutes and nothing. So, that means I need to get my right stuff together. Hey fish, I'm coming tomorrow and I'm coming with my kayak, the right lures, the right rod for sure. And come say hello. And we got 15, 20 minutes of casting in. Only saw that one little sighting at the beginning. Ugh, eating mosquitoes. But, uh, yeah, I'm using the wrong rod and everything, so it's time to go clean up my mess, take a shower, and then get all my fishing stuff ready. Uh, maybe I should take the kayak down before I shower. Yeah, and then uh, get ready, because tomorrow's going to be a good day. Other than that, maybe I'll check a few emails, relax a bit, eat some more food, and... Uh, all in a night, but tomorrow after work, it's on. It's on.